you want to garden like an expert, it helps to know a little bit of the jargon, a little bit of that gardening lingo. So we're explaining what plant people mean when they use some common gardening terms. To help us out here, one of our own experts, Jerry Goodspeed from Utah State University Botanical Center is here to kind of weigh in on speaking the language. Now, how does that make a difference in being a better gardener? Well, I think it mostly helps you when you go and get plants and when you, when you have questions to be able to actually explain the question using terms that, that the ex, so-called experts know. So you're not just going in and saying, well, I need that rich, <laughs> yeah. hearty stuff that makes my plant grow. My and green, they look at you my and green say, thing. top soil, you yeah, mean? Yeah. <laughs> my green thing doesn't look right. Yeah, okay. yeah, so yeah. Okay, so we've got some fun things um, to go over today, and you're actually going to quiz me. I'm going to quiz you, Haley. On some of the facts and, and fill for, us in on what we need to know. So what's your first question for so me? So the first question, these will be true and false questions. The first one is semi-hardy. Does that mean that uh, plants can can tolerate heavy soil? Or what does, okay, semi-hardy, what kind of plants are kay. they? Okay, so <laughs> we're looking at maybe can they help tolerate can the heavy Can they tolerate frost? the heavy frost? Because we're thinking semi-hardy here. Oh, you are good. I would say it's false. Actually, that is what it means uh, to, to oh. have something semi-hardy. It's something like a geranium with an annual or some other things. They're really good, and you get a, uh, a light frost, and they'll be fine. The things that are bad, like uh, a zinnia, uh -huh. you walk by a zinnia, and you say frost, and they die. So they're not very hardy. And, okay. But a semi-hardy one, some of the annuals will, will live through a, uh, a light frost, which so this year So the semi-hardy is a little bit tougher to the cold. A little cold. bit tougher, yeah. Okay, what's Let's up next Let's go to the next one, me. cold frame. Um, what does a does a cold frame protect plants from pests? I don't even know what cold frame means, <laughs> so I'm going to go with true. Well, it, it, it's somewhat true, it but sounds... actually, the reason we have cold frames oh. is to protect plants from frost. Okay. And from and some so of the colder weather. And so, what is a cold frame? A cold frame is like a little greenhouse, okay. and, and uh, it has a has a has a, a clear glass or, or fiberglass or something that you can put down and protect the plants and then during the day you can lift it up and, okay. and, and you can plant them earlier is why people use it. Okay, a cold frame, good to know. I'm, I'm learning, I hope you're learning too. Okay, okay next. companion planting. Are companion plants those plants that uh, have similar flavors? No, false. That's correct. Oh That's good. God, you got right that. Finally. Companion Woo! planting normally has nothing to do with flavor. Has more to do with plants that complement each other as far as being somewhat resistant to pests and and keeping the pests away. So give me an example of what a companion well, plants. Well, for example, a lot of people like to plant marigolds next to some of their crops with the idea that the marigolds may attract some pests or repel other pests such as uh, aphids. Okay. So that's Kay. kind of the idea behind that. Here we go. Next on your list. Let's see if I can, can get it right. Can you determine hardiness zone from a book? Does it tell you the hardiness zones in different books? Yes, true. It does. That is true. Woo! Two you for know two. what hardiness zone oh, is? Two for five. Um, it's no. <laughs> I just <laughs> it sounded like it would be true. Dang it! Why'd you have to follow it up with that one? So, so what is a hardiness zone? A hardiness zone? zone is how cold it can get on some plants before they actually freeze and die. Okay. So you know. Uh, and you can look it up in different books. And well, now you can look it up on the internet, obviously. And what um, is our hardiness zone? Well, around here, where it depends on who you talk to, or, and kind of where you live, but between five and six. Okay. In that in that there range. All right. Take uh, the next one. Forcing. Does forcing a plant mean you're speeding up its growth? True. Well, you're getting good. Woo! You've, you've You've kind of got this figured out now. Yeah, forcing is when we take a plant in the greenhouse and we get it to bloom before it normally would. Uh, there, and there's a lot of examples of that. Easter lilies is one of them. Okay. Poinsettias is one of them. So some of the things we take them in the greenhouse and we force them into blooming before they're ready. Okay. Yeah. Yay, I'm getting good. Woo! Well, <laughs> okay. Biennials. Is that a plant that blooms twice a year? Biennials. Biennials. I've actually, I have not heard that term, but going with the bi theory, I'm going to say true. False. Oh, <laughs> I lost you had my a role. <laughs> I did. Okay, so what does that so, mean? So, then? biennial is actually a plant that lives for two years. So, one year oh. it just grows and you have the green growth, and the second year it blooms. Some examples might be foxglove, if you've heard of that. Okay. You plant it the first year, it's nice and green. The second year it blooms, and then it dies. Okay. So, like biennial two year growth. 
Perfect. Yep. And the next one. Let's see if I can get my streak back. Plants, true or false? Plants do best in alkali soils. False. Bingo. Yes. <laughs> back yes. on it. Yeah. Our, and our soils around here are all alkali. Okay. Uh, it, we wish they were acidic because most plants prefer acidic soils, but sometimes our alkali soils, and, and we can still grow a lot of plants, but plants do prefer acidic. So then should we try to modify the soil that you, we're using? Y you know, there's really not a lot you can do about it. Okay. Uh, we have alkali soils, uh, and most plants do good. We avoid, you know, a handful of plants like blueberries or azaleas or rhodes because they hate our soils and they just won't do very good. Interesting. Okay. See, I did not know that one. All right. Hit me with number ten. Okay. Number ten. Uh, plants that require full sun need eight hours or less of sunlight. Ooh, I know this one. False. Okay, that's five good. to six, right? Or no, am I wrong on that? Actually, the other other side of that, they ten would be better. Oh, on it, more. So. Okay, but, no wonder. But sometimes I don't a lucky to... guess is as good okay. as anything. So, <laughs> yeah, when we when we uh, talk about a full sun for plants, that means we'd like them to be in sun. You know, eight to ten hours a day is best, and they'll perform a lot better that way. Okay. Yeah, five or six hours. Uh, they'd get a little leggy. Okay, they, they that would. explains my yard. They, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, they start to complain. And they don't look quite as good. Yeah. And yeah. so, what does that leggy look look like? I mean, I know my yard. Extended so I know what it is, but. growth, uh, a lot of stem, if you will. Sometimes they don't bloom as well. Okay. Uh, like, you mean you might look over at your neighbors and their their plants are blooming and beautiful, and you look at yours that are in shade and they just don't look quite as good. Okay. Next one. Okay, next one. Growing season. Uh, the length of the growing season varies from place to place. True. Yes, it does. That is very good. Woo! And, and we, so what's our growing season length? Well, it depends on where you're living. In St. George, it's, it's quite a few days. And, and how we monitor growing season is from the last spring frost to the first frost in the fall. However long time, how many days it is between the two frosts. That's what we look at. And so if you're in St. George, obviously, you don't have a frost from, you know, sometime in February till November sometimes. Whereas here, you might have a frost, you know, May to, okay. to September. And that's where you need to do your research. Thank you so yes. much for the quiz. I feel smarter yet not as smart all at once. You did good. <laughs>